This is a crazy outcome to say the least. I uh, didn't think this many people wanted to see a TikToker box. Boxing. At one point in time, the sweet science was known for having some of the biggest names in the sports world. On the biggest stages and some of the biggest places all over the world, we got some of the biggest fights around. Ones that stand out to this day. But fast forward to today though, and not so much. Because nowadays there are a lot of celebrity fights and fights between social media stars and it gets pretty odd when you see them fight. Such as the match between Austin McBroom and Bryce Hall at the recent Battle of the Platforms. Allow us to show you how Bryce Hall speaks about losing to Austin McBroom. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 5. The Fight for Battle of the Platforms So how did a match between a YouTube star and a TikTok star come to take place at the main event of a boxing show? Believe it or not, this was something that was building for quite some time before the official announcement. Allow us to show you what we mean. Rewind to December 2020. Austin McBroom from the Ace family on YouTube challenged TikTok star Bryce Hall to a fight. Keep it clean. Touch him up. Immediately, I like this stance of McBroom. It's the more sparring, the better. However, it appeared that Bryce didn't want in. As Austin wrote on his Instagram, I heard all your excuses. You ain't built for this. I'll let you keep ducking. Paul wasn't going to take that line down, so on March 10th, Bryce posted a series of screenshots to Twitter showing a text conversation between him and Austin with the caption, All this because I won't accept his little fight, and now he's crying because he can't pay his cleaning lady. The Ace Family star wrote, I pay my cleaning lady more than you make in a year. Come get this smoke, with Bryce replying, LMAO, I guarantee you don't. When Austin told the TikToker to stop being a pussy, the 21-year-old replied, You're 30, bro. You're acting like a high schooler right now. To be clear, this was before the match was officially crowned as real, but once they did, they kept the jawjacking going as they trained for the fight itself. For example, McBroom decided to go and show off his boxing shape, and he made it very clear in the post that while he's all natural, Hall was not. As he noted, steroids ain't gonna save you in the ring. I don't have words, but such amazing feeling, and I can't thank everyone who came out to support. Like I always say, the Ace family is one strong ass army. Now that's a big thing to say because steroid use is a banned thing in sports, and yet technically since this isn't a true sports event, one could go and use them if they wanted to. As if all of that wasn't enough, McBroom went and posted a video of him playing with his little girls and noting that they punch harder than Bryce. He quoted that video of Austin with his girls and noted, You're in for a rude awakening, old man. Bryce Hall also tweeted, I seriously can't wait to smack the fuck out of a 30-year-old man in a few months. The ironic twist in all this is that Austin McBroom's wife went and made an Instagram post as well but it wasn't what you likely think. You see, she went and noted that she sees this as a sport, and a sport she does love. She has an appreciation for anyone who gets in the ring and is willing to go all out in there, especially for those who aren't professionally trained and experienced, so basically the entire roster of the YouTube versus TikTok event. So yeah, that was a thing, and it only got more heated as the whole event went down, leading to all sorts of questions about what would actually happen in the fight itself. Why do we say that? Well, not unlike a certain duo called the Paul Brothers, McBroom and Hall had to go and get trained to box. So this was their first match in a boxing ring, and thus the results were very much up in the air in terms of finish and quality. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh, teeing off! McBroom! Oh, oh, McBroom! Number 4. How the Bout Was Won Austin McBroom beat Bryce Hall in the third round of the main event of the Battle of the Platforms boxing card when all was said and done, and it was a physical fight in its own way. The final blow came after several knockdowns on the way to the eventual stoppage, and Bryce Hall did lose a point as the referee penalized him for an attempted takedown in round two. But it didn't matter as Hall was seconds from getting to a stool between rounds but unable to pass the referee's instructions. It capped a complete card of YouTube versus TikTok, with the final outcome 5-1 to one for YouTube with one draw. And even that fight looks like YouTube should have won, with Ann Eason Gibb clearly beating Taylor Holder despite the scoring. But that's another topic entirely. So yeah, a clear victory for McBroom despite what some, Hall, would say. And naturally there were a lot of reactions to this, especially since this was a highly anticipated main event between two stars of the screen. Number 3. Reactions from the Internet As we just teased, the internet was abuzz with commentary from people who watched this fight. Here are some of our favorite reactions. But I've been in 40 street fights. Bryce Hall, the biggest joke of all time. Fuck Bryce Hall. Lost the girl and the match. This is what I envisioned, bro. Not gonna lie. I didn't see how Bryce was gonna beat a 30-year-old fully grown man. It just wasn't gonna happen. 
Was that a black eye developing on Bryce Hall? Oh god, yeah. Everyone who lost tonight, which is Deji, and the other guy look at Bryce, y'all are good. Bryce would go down in history as being the worst fighter by far. My god, Austin, F up this man. I love seeing Bryce Hall cry. It's my daily medicine, my weekly energy, my monthly inspiration, and my yearly motivation. His loss is the only reason I'm still alive. I was born to love and enjoy his failures. So yeah, clearly, people were happy that Bryce Hall got his butt handed to him and that his face got, um, remodeled? Yeah, this was not the most popular man on the internet by far. But do you think he showed remorse or care? Clearly, you don't know social media, or some of the stars that call it home. Number two, Hall's reaction. What do you think went wrong? Um, honestly, I was under so much pressure uh, that that uh, as soon as I stepped in the ring and I saw like 30,000 people in the audience, Ironically, though, Austin McBroom had the victory. He honestly didn't talk much about it on social media, but Hall most certainly did, and his comments were curious, to say the least. Congrats, Austin McBroom. We put on a show. Let's take some shots. I'm so proud of everyone on the card last night. You showed up and showed out and got in the ring in front of 30,000 people to do something you weren't fully comfortable with. Takes big balls. I love the experience regardless of the outcome. I can't express anything but happiness that we pulled off an event like that in just three months. Good job, everyone. Hey, Ma, I'm still buying you that house, by the way. I can finally say that all this work is going to pay off in eight days while silencing some of the doubters, haters. I can't wait to make this look easy. Some might look at this and say, well, at least he was gracious in defeat. But is that really what was going on here? Remember, him and McBroom really didn't like one another. They got very personal in their smack talk, and so they were really wanting to put the hurt on one another. So while Hall might have come off as a good loser, you can bet he was doing it so he didn't come off as a whiner or calling it a fluke because he would have gotten roasted for that. Number one, next up. I'm not a boxer. I'm not a fighter. I've never claimed to be a fighter. But next time, hey, we'll see. Good job, Austin. So what is next for Bryce Hall? Well, you'd think because of the beating he took from McBroom that going back into the ring would be the furthest thing from his mind. Then again, his ego might play a factor into this, and he might decide to try and take on another social media star and get redemption for what happened against McBroom. For him, this was a chance to grow his star, and he didn't get to do that. Social media personalities like Hall need to grow and evolve, and so if a redemption arc is what he wants to attempt, he'll do it. Only time will tell, though. So what do you think? What do you think about this reaction from Bryce Hall about how he lost to Austin McBroom at Battle of the Platforms? Do you think he's just trying to play it off like a simple loss to help himself save face and try to get back into the action? Do you believe that he will try and box again against someone else who might boost him up? Or will the damage he took from McBroom prove too much for him to overcome in your minds? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.